My name is Miguel from the Mode Mechanic 757, working on a 2002 uh, Toyota 3.0. I'm going to be changing the motor, uh, torque motor mount, and I'm going to be giving a few tips. The torque motor mount is right here. If you look at the brand new one, the rubber is completely solid as it's supposed to be. And what this does is pretty much when the engine is torquing back and forth as you're hitting the gas, this is compensating and keeping it from you feeling all that torque. And that's what this is, it absorbs it. But if you look right here, you can literally see this one is bad, it is missing rubber. And when the gentleman is hitting the gas, he can feel this car lung lunging back and forth and he feels a lot of vibrations. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this real quick. So I'm gonna show you the tools I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using a 14 millimeter wrench. I'm gonna be using my impact, impact gun and I'll be using my power ratchet. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen up before I start anything. What I did is I took a jack and on the jack, I put a piece of wood down there. You never ever take a jack and put it on your oil pan. You put a piece of wood and then you jack it up. So the, uh, when I take that torque off, this is gonna, the engine is gonna start drop, dropping down and this also compensates when the engine starts dropping. But you don't wanna use a jack directly on your oil pan. I use a piece of wood and then I jack it up. So here we go. So the bolt is going to be extremely tight. So 101 physics, you put it on, take yourself a long pole like this, and you crack it just like butter. Just like butter. And then I'm going to come down here. I'm going to get right between these two. All I'm doing is cracking it. And then it should come, come off like butter because I have more torque. There we go. And now I can use power tools to get off the bolts. This is a nice DeWalt. Been having it for years. Keeps a good charge. Use DeWalt batteries if you want to have a, a nice good charge and good quality. Put it right on. This will yank it right on off. All right, now we're going to come over and I can't get the impact wrench at this angle without taking all this off. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna take the 14, come here, make sure it goes in the right direction. All right, I'm gonna pull this right on off. you can see my jack is holding up the engine this will come out real easy if the jack wasn't high enough this bolt will be very hard because the engine is uh, the weight of the engine is holding the bolt down and I can't hardly turn it but I took that right out real quick and as you can see everything comes out really very easy wiggle it up a little bit give it a good wiggle and it comes right out Actually, the whole thing is falling apart. Look at that. There is nothing left. This, this completely fell apart. So this is not performing its job. All right, to get this off, this is coming from the overflow. You turn this up like that. Take your finger, squeeze back. Be very careful. This is plastic. And you go back and forth. Pull it right out, just like so. Put that over here. And take this out. Pull that right off. I uh, put my put that right there, and it slides right off. Now the new one is just reverse. We're going to take that overflow hose, slide it right through. I like to put this back on because I don't want to lose it. You could do it by hand, and all you have to do is slide this just like that. You just wiggle it, and you put the first bolt in which will be this long bolt right here try to get it lined up actually i'll do this one first just line it up 
I turn it by hand just to hold, you know, just for safety sakes, hold that nice and tight, nice and secure. And then it's rubber, so you just push back a little bit. You don't, I don't use uh, too much wrenches because I like to work smart but not hard. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reverse everything. And you can see how fast I do this. Everybody does it their own way, but you can see I've done it less than five minutes. I am literally going to take two sockets at the same time. Let's see, we grab a good 14 and watch what I do. I'm gonna simultaneously put these two on at the same time. I'll put this one here, push this one there, and, and get this one to get in there. There we go. And there you have it. And what I like to do, I like to go behind myself. This is just me, but you see, I've done this job less than five minutes. I put this on. And all I'm going to do is just make sure everything's secure. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. You can see it's brand new on again. And then you just take the top. And remember, you have to be very careful. You just push this back on. You can do it by hand. And the job is done. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.